Welcome everyone to this step-by-step -step tutorial on creating a custom Maven plugin. Maven is a powerful build automation tool for Java projects. And custom Maven plugin can streamline your development workflow. In this video, I will guide you through each step-by-step -step from understanding Maven plugins to creating and using your own custom Maven plugin. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create a custom Maven plugin tailored to your project needs. But before I begin, please like, subscribe and share my channel to help me create more insightful videos. First, let's understand what Maven plugins are. Maven plugins are extension to the core Maven functionality, which allows you to automate various tasks in your build process. They are like add-on modules that provide very specific capabilities and you can even create one of your own. If you want to know more about Maven plugins and its various phases, then see my detailed Maven course which covers plugin goals and phases in detail. I have also created the link to my Maven course in the description below. So please check it out. Before we dive in, let's make sure you have the necessary tools. You will need Maven install which you can download from the official Maven website. You can see the link below. Also make sure you have a JDK installed on your machine which is a bare minimum. The foundation of any Maven project including a plugin project is its directory structure. In our Maven project, we will create directories for source code, resources, scripts and assemblies to keep things organized. Again, I've covered all of these in my Maven course. You can check the link in the description below. But let's understand what we're going to build today. We are going to build a plugin that will count how many dependencies are used in a given Maven project. We are going to first create a plugin module which will have the code to count the number of Maven dependencies and then we'll go ahead and create a new Java module which will, which will use a plugin to print out the Maven dependencies. We are going to first create a plugin module which will have the code to count the number of Maven dependencies and then we'll create a new Java module which will use that plugin to print out the Maven dependencies. Create a simple Maven project in your favorite ID. In my case, it's IntelliJ. I'll name this project as my counter plugin. My counter plugin. Oops, sorry. My counter plugin. I'll use JDK 17 for my project and I will remove the sample code. I don't need this. Let's check in advanced setting. I'm going to name this uh, my group ID as com.java habit. This is also my blog. So if you are interested in reading online, you can go and visit the website. So while it, it's going to create a new project, let me make the project here. So my project is not created. Let's align it so everybody can see. Let's check out what, what is in there. So it has a plain source folder, main, a Java, Java source folder, resources, test, and nothing is in there. Next, we're going to look at pom.xml. pom.xml, it's an empty model. There's nothing much in there. So the first thing we're going to do is we, we are going to create a module called counter plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new module and call it counter plugin which will have this everything looks good and okay let's go ahead and create this all right so i have my counter plugin and i have the basic properties defined which says that my source and compiler are going to be jdk 17. so let's learn what dependencies are needed to write a simple Maven plugin. There are three basic dependencies that, that are required. Let's go ahead and add them. I'm going to add a dependencies. And under these, the first dependency that we need is called Maven plugin API. So I'm going to add that Maven plugin API. And yes, and the version is 394. You can check what is the latest version depending on what day, time or year you're watching this. The current version as of now is 3.9.4, so I'm going to use that. The second dependency that we are going to add is called Maven plugin annotation, which is used for custom annotations. 
So I'm going to add this Maven plugin annotation. Again, this is from plugin tools and the latest version is 3.9.0. I'm going to stick to that. The third dependency that you're going to use is Maven code. And I believe, yeah, that's 3.9.4 is the latest one. So I'm going to use that. These are the three basic dependency, dependencies that are needed, but you need a fourth dependency, which is required for getting the information or the metadata about the Maven project and which is why that dependency is called Maven project. So to add this, it is again, and the version is 221. So we have added dependency. We need to make small change and define the packaging. Now, typically you would have used packaging as jar, war or pom, but since this is a plugin, we need to use a special packaging and it is called, no guesses here, it's called Maven plugin. So let's go ahead and add that. This is a very important step guys. Don't, don't forget this. Otherwise your project is not going to work properly. So make sure your packaging is a Maven plugin. Lastly, one important thing that you need to do is when you're creating a module, right? And you are giving it a name, since it's a plugin type, you cannot have a plugin starting with word Maven dash. This is reserved for the Maven core team, which tells people that this particular plugin is developed and maintained by the Apache Maven core team. So make sure you don't have this. You can of course say counter dash Maven dash plugin. Let's jump into the, into the heart of our custom Maven plugin. We are going to create a class which will hold up plugin, plugin code. code. And, and let's, let's go ahead and create a class called counter plugin, plugin which, which will extend an abstract, abstract module class and will ask you to override the execute method. method. This, this is where you're going to add all of your code. So let's do that. And the first thing I'll do is I will get rid of this uh, source folder here because I don't need that. I will be doing all of our coding inside a counter plugin module. So let's go in there and create a package. Com.java habit. Do check out my blog as well. And we said we want to create a class called counter plugin. All right. The first thing we need to do is we have to extend the um, abstract mojo class from Apache Maven plugin. And it will ask you to override the execute method. This is where you are going to write your plugin detail on what your plugin is supposed to do. But, but the, the first thing we need to do is we need to define what should be the name of this plugin. plugin. So let's call add annotation called, let's, let's call this as what should, let's, let's keep it simple and call it as counter. Okay. And the, the next thing we need to do is we need to define a default phase and which is under the life cycle phase compile. Now we add this default phase as lifecycle compiled because when you are going to be using this plugin as a, as a plugin dependency in your implementation project. So imagine you, I publish this plugin on actual Maven repository. Somebody wants to use that in their own project. If they don't define a phase, then by default, this will be uh, assigned a default phase of compile. So you, you are going to see the number of dependency printed out when Maven goes through different phases. Again, if you're not sure what phases are, do check out my video in the description. I have a complete course on Maven. All right, so we have added a uh, name of the plugin that will be used. We have a default implementation for execute, which has nothing in there. Before we begin, we need to add a couple of things. We need to add first a parameter annotation. And what, what this, this is going to do is, if you remember, we add a dependency called Maven project. Okay. So Maven, we are going to bring that Maven project in here. And what this will do is, it will allow us to, let's call this project. What it will do is, it will allow us to do, it will allow us to get metadata about the, the given Maven project. Things like, 
uh, how many folders are there how many lines of codes are in there what are dependencies are in there and everything about your maybe project what version is being used what is the artifact name and stuff okay so we have this this will be by default injected so we are going to provide that we are looking for a default value of project uh, project i think i need to put it in quotes project okay and this will be marked as read only true we want to mark required as true you can check what these val values mean in the actual documentation i won't go in the detail second is imagine you also want to uh, look what dependence are, are being used depending on the type so types can be uh, provided uh, runtime during testing so if you want to print or de dependency based on their types then you can uh, you need to define up uh, in scope parameter so we are going to provide another parameter which will be taken at command line property now we are going to define another parameter which will be a property that can be provided during command line something like maven clean install minus d and then you give a property name to get some value so what we want to do is we want to not only count the number of dependency we want to count the dependency depending on the dependency type that's too long to do but let me explain so if you if you go in here whenever you define a dependency you have the scope defined and you can define scope as compile test provided runtime and system right so imagine i define uh, that this should scope should be test for this particular dependencies now when i when i want to say uh, do a maven clean install it is going to print out that there are four dependencies okay what if i want to know that how many dependencies are there that are defined with scope equal to test so to do that we need to pass a property during a command line where we are going to define minus d property is equal to scope where proper where scope type equal to test so to do that we are going to add this property here and we are going to call this property and let's call this as scope right and we are going to call it as string scope next we need to get all of the de dependencies and this dependency is there from uh, should be from maven project up oh, there which will get me list of dependencies i'm going to get dependencies and i'm going to get this from the project which we defined over here maven project which gives us all of the data so let's take a look at what all values are provided i'm going to reduce this actually uh, so you can get de dependencies you can get what are the different profile artifact name artifact id these are all the things which are defined in your your pom.xml so out of those we need to get the list of dependencies okay so this will give me a list of all of the dependencies and now i need to count them so we're going to say uh, let's give it a good name number of dependencies i hope i spell it correctly number of dependencies and dependencies we want to stream this list and what we want to do is, is we can either just do a count which will of course give me a total count but we want what do we also want is that we also want to see if a user has provided a property called scope equal to test then it should filter out properties filter out dependencies which are which have a scope of test so we are going to say filter and we are going to say dependency let's give it a variable name dependency and we are going to say if scope is equal to null or scope is empty 
Déjame, do I have the parenthesis correct? Um, looks like it. And then or scope is um, scope equals uh, dependency dot get scope. If it matches, then just filter those and print it out. If it is null or is not provided, then just count whatever is coming in. And lastly, we need to now print this on our terminal. So we are going to use a built-in function called get log dot get get info or just info. And we are going to say dependencies dependencies found. Uh, we are going to print out number of dependencies. This is all you need. Your code is not complete. You can go ahead and build your code. So I'm going to go in my terminal and just do maven clean install. All right, my code is now built. Now that our project is built, let's go ahead and test our plugin. So to do that, the format to do that is first you need to provide the your group ID that is uh, com dot Java habit colon next you're going to provide the artifact ID remember it's not your artifact ID of your parent project it is the artifact ID of the module so in my case the module is counter plugin so I'm going to do that copy to copy all right it's not working let's type it out counter plugin there are days when i get i am constantly farking stuff but anyway so the next piece you need is the version number so in our case the version number is one zero snapshot let me move this mouse out of here and lastly and most importantly you need to provide the name of the uh, plugin which we defined in the mojo so it is the which is the goal actually counter so i'm going to click this and now you should see four dependencies printed somewhere in the compile phase so if you see here dependencies found equal to four now that it is printed out that there are four dependencies let's do some more testing let's add another dependency um, just go ahead and add whatever dependency you want to add, doesn't matter. All we want to do is print out that uh, now the number of dependencies should be five. So we are going to again do one more build here. Maven clean install. Project is built. And what we want to do now is we want to do, we want to provide the property, the scope which we added. If you Go back to your code, you will see that we have defined the property equal to scope. And what we want to do is we want to print how many dependencies are there which has scope equal to test. So in our case, we have only one dependency, JUnit Jupyter API, which has scope equal to test. So I should be seeing number of dependencies equal to one, scope equal to test, not one. Dependency found equal to one. And my total number of dependencies will now be five so i should see five dependencies all right so this completes our plugin but if you see we have to type this long command line over here we want to simplify this in the next step now in your actual day-to-day -day life we we don't print out we, we don't add a, such a big command line to run a you know plugin we would typically what we'll do is we have to go and use the plugin name and its goal that's 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 all we typically do right but if you try and run this you would see an error that this thing is not working for you out of the box so what you need to do is you need to go to your dot m2 folder so in my case it's under uh, my user name dash m2 which is basically some, something like this users the initial order dot m2 and you need to open your settings.xml if you don't have one go ahead and create set settings.xml uh, let's open it over here all right it should look something like this a plain xml 
and in here I am going to define plugin groups under this plugin group I am going to define the group ID so I am going to provide com.java habit and this should fix my issue now if I go and execute the same command to clean it up uh, maven counter counter plugin which is the name of the plugin the counter is the goal so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and now everything should be working fine I should be able to see number of dependencies 5 and I should also be able to get out again scope equal test I should see result 1 number of dependencies equal to 1 and my plugin is now working but so now we want to add some documentation on a plugin so to do that you would typically do maven clean site and it should create something under your target under site uh, but if you open this you should not be able to see you won't see any uh, project info or uh, the plugin in, in you should see that it will only print the project documentation there is not, nothing about the plugins in there if I go ahead and create plugin it won't give me any information on the plugin which I just created so to do that we need to go ahead and update our pom.xml which is under counter plugin we have to go ahead and add the uh, add the plugin add the plugin for uh, maven site plugin okay sorry so we have to go and add the plugin uh, I want to create a build plugins management we have to define plugins under that we need to define plugin artifact id and it is maven site plugin I don't remember oh awesome this this is why I love IntelliJ idea okay so I, we have added that and uh, now I want to create a reporting so I'm going to create reporting uh, sorry it should be defined outside the build module reporting and report uh, report and then I need to define under plugins plugins um, yep I need to define under plugin plugin and the plugin here is artifact id we have to define maven plugin plugin so basically what we are doing here is we are telling that in the in the site reporting when you when it is building the site i want you to add details about the plugin if you remember we we added this uh, packaging as maven plugin plugin so we want to add information about that packaging right so we have added this next we are going to add uh, the information about uh, where the report set needs to be created and what is the format so we're going to do that report set report set reports report i want to define this report and that should now print our report out we want to check the did we made a mistake we did um, let's go ahead and check one more time what is missing uh, could no longer find goal report I may must have made a mistake somewhere report set report sets uh, report set reports report report so I should be let me copy paste from my document here I must have been I must have mistyped something all right so I don't know what was happening there but let's see oh I was adding the version number here that was causing the issue so let me remove that version number right so this looks good now I should be able to see under site I should be able to see the plugin info uh, 
plugin info dot html and I am going to open this again and now you should see my count details about my counter plugin. You can go ahead and add more detail what this this thing does, what are the different requirement and it's it's going to do that. But this is how you create your uh, information about your plugin. So I'm going to close this and now we are going to go ahead and create another Java module which is going to consume this plugin. Okay, so let's go ahead and create another module. Um, I'm going to call this as uh, consume plugin because this model is going to consume. Still JDK 17 com.java habit. So let's go ahead and create that. I'm going to close all of this. And in my consume plugin, we don't have to add any code because I'm not going to do anything. We, when we want to build this project, what we want to do is we want to define that uh, what will be the what will be the uh, uh, plugin that we are going to use and at what stage we want to provide that. So all we need to do here is we have to again define our build and under build we are going to define our plugins plugin. And what are we going to define under plugin? We are going to define our artifact ID and we are going to define our plugin. So our plugin was what? Counter plugin. That's the name we gave in the artifact ID. So let's just go back and confirm. The name was uh, counter plugin. Remember, don't don't accidentally copy the, the parent module name, right? That's Maven counter plugin. We have to use the child module that we created. So I'm going to provide this name as counter plugin and let it fill in information. Okay. So I've added all of these. Now I want to provide that where exactly in execution phase this plugin should act and what goal should be created. So I'm going to create here execution and goals and goal name. I'm going to provide counter. This is the same name which you have which you have used in the uh, annotation at mojo right remember we when when we are doing the command line right if i go to my command line uh, we used to type in the plugin name and the goal so our plugin name here is counter plugin and our goal is counter and by default, since if, if you're not going to provide any phases here, let, let's not provide a phase here, right? You remember we created lifecycle phase equal to compile. So let, let me show you back to jog your memory. We created this default phase equal to lifecycle compile. So if we don't provide the lifecycle phase in here at that, at what phase this plugin should be executed, by default it'll be it'll be picked up in the compile phase. Okay, so this is all we are going to do and now to run this model, I'm going to get into the CD into that project. CD, um, uh, it's consumer, consume plugin, consume plugin, let's clean the screen. First going to do Maven, clean, install. Okay, let's see if our plugin works now. So I should be seeing number of dependencies equal to zero because we don't have any dependencies in, in this project yet. I'm going to close other tabs. So in my consume plugin project, I don't have any dependencies, but my I, I can see that it is now printing dependencies font. Let's go ahead and add any random dependency. Again, we're going to add, let's add a dependency of uh, so let's this time let's do antler antler okay so i should be able to see one dependency let's go ahead and add another dependency we're going to provide a scope so let's see what comes with b uh, i don't know what this dependency is but let's choose bcl and here we are going to provide let's provide scope as provided okay so we're going to run two tests. One is without providing any property scope, I should see two dependencies in there. Wait one more time, Maven clean install. 
and you should be able to see number of dependencies equal to two okay if you remove this face because we already provided default face it should still work and you should still see number of dependencies equal to two now if you see here uh, this is being executed in the compilation phase default compile phase right you see what if i want to do this in the testing phase so i'm going to go here and change my face to test phase so now you should be seeing this number of dependencies found in the test compile phase so i go in here and i you will see that now this is under the default test and it is running at the testing phase not in the compile phase all right so that's it this is how you consume the plugin and congratulations you have now successfully created a custom maven plugin that counts project dependencies custom maven plugins are incredibly powerful for automating any task specific to your project needs so feel free to explore explore more possibilities and adapt this knowledge to create plugin for various tasks in your development workflow if you found this tutorial helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell icon so you won't miss any future tutorials check out the video description for links to resources and the complete code thank you for watching and happy coding